Now a group of lawmakers are calling on a state agency to stop the company's plans to expand. Channel 2's Sion Rhodes is live now with more on the story. Sion? And homeowners have been battling with this concrete company for years now. They do have the backing of major political players in their efforts to get the state to deny this company's plans for expansion. Maybe you can actually see the cement trucks right there. When Donna Williams and her husband bought this property, they never thought they'd have a concrete plant for a neighbor. The plant is just on the other side of the fence. She says the problems created by Soto Ready Mix began almost immediately. Cement, runoff, flooding. This tree was completely black. All of the palm trees, there was this white film. Our property values tanked. She says dust and smoke from the plant is even affecting their health. Increase of, of uh, breathing treatments. Um, we both have allergies. We feel stuck. It's a battle the Williams and their neighbors have been fighting on their own until now. These neighbors were here before that plant. We will not allow this particular batch plant to open. And I'm convinced the decision will be not to recommend approval of this permit. State and federal lawmakers joining Mayor Sylvester Turner in a new effort to get the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality to deny Soto's application to expand. The disrespect and the arrogance of facilities of this kind being situated in the neighborhood is unacceptable in the city of Houston. Since June 2019, three different city departments have issued a total of 34 citations against Soto for code violations. This is not a batch plant, this is just a yard. There's no place for it in this community. Now, TCEQ is planning to hold an administrative hearing here in Houston in a rare move. It's outside of Austin at this time, and that's happening on January 23rd. They want to make sure everyone has a chance to speak out about this topic. We did reach out to the company. They did not respond. Reporting live in Acres Home, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.